There is no charge for awesomeness. G'day gang, it's Dan here and it's day 15 of the 30 day challenge and I'm afraid you've got my ugly face again today. So, what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you another site that you can use um, to build links into your main WordPress direct site. Now, like with Squidoo and Hubpages and Tumblr, now we have another site which is called Weebly. Now, Weebly is pretty much the same as um, all the other sites, but Weebly is more focused on building um, a complete website with like multiple pages and so on. But what we'll do today is I'll show you the very basic requirements, the very basic thing you have to do to get a Weebly page set up and a link back to your WordPress Direct blog. Okay, guys, let's get started. Okay, first things first, I need to go over to Weebly and I'll just highlight the address here. And as usual, uh, we need to sign up. So, I'm going to create a username. And a password. And put in my email address. We accept the terms and conditions, which you should probably read, and sign up and start creating. Okay, now it's asking me for one of these horrible captures. Yeah. With a bit of luck, that should be correct. Okay, so this is the main Weebly dashboard. And the thing about Weebly is you can create more than um, one website under the account. I think the limit for the basic service is um, five websites. And they do have a professional version which you pay four bucks 99 a month, but there's absolutely no need in any way, shape, manner or form to use that. So, title for your new site. Here we're gonna enter in our main keyword phrase again. So, vintage electric. Hit continue. And what it's loading up now is the Weebly web page builder. Now, this is can take a while to get um, started, and Weebly isn't the f a fastest of service sometimes when it comes to editing, but you know, a bit of patience and it'll be fine for you. So, first things first, let's go and have a look at the different themes. And if you go to the top here, you'll see a designs button. And if you actually hover over one of the designs, as you see, it changes it in real time. Like so. And if you click over here on the right hand side, it'll scroll through and show you all the different designs that Weebly has. And there's a, there's a fair whack of those there. And again, you know, if the site does get ranked really well, you probably might want to be like changing the design to make it a bit more attractive. But really, um, we're here to create a link back to your main blog. So let me just pick one. I'm going to go for that one there. Okay. Um, first things first, we need to click on the Elements tab at the top. And basically, this section will allow you to add various different content. So you can add videos and um, RSS feeds, you can even put in Google AdSense, which you shouldn't be at this moment in time. Um, and again, it's pretty much self-explanatory, but I'm just going to show you. I'm going to drag um, this across from here and literally drag it to there. And there you go. And it's created this little box, which you can now um, edit. So title, I'm going to click here to edit. And my title is Vintage Electric Guitar. And then you click on that paragraph there and you can enter some text. Now, I haven't really written anything special for this, so I'm just going to copy a, a little piece of text. Now, remember, you guys should be putting in a, um, a, a decent sized article in there, you know, a good couple of paragraphs at least, because um, that gives you a much better chance of being indexed and ranked by Google for it. I'm just going to throw this in now and I'll do some editing later. Let's have a look. Okay, now I'm going to hyperlink. The vintage electric guitar. If I can actually select it properly. And then you can literally go up to here where there's a create link option and click on that. 
And if you've actually got more than one page within inside Weebly, then you can link to individual pages and it'll show you those there. Um, for now, I'm going to link to an external website by clicking on that and put in the address. Okay. Oops. Next up. And then click on the save button at the bottom. And I'm just going to make that bold too. Okay, so there's the very first piece of content. Again, this is just a sample piece of content, guys. You need to make sure that it's, you know, a, a little bit more interesting than that crappy little paragraph I just wrote there. Now, again, you, if you wanted to change the picture on it and you've already got one, you can literally click on the picture and then go up here and click on Upload. I'm just going to throw in a crappy guitar picture. And with a bit of luck, it should appear. Bada bing, sorted. Now, that's the very basic of, uh, very basic, very basics of actually setting up a post. And what I'm gonna show you now is another way to um, pull in your vintage electric guitar, um, your vintage electric, I'm, honestly, I'm losing words today. Pull in your main blog posts RSS feed. So to do that, you need to go to multimedia. I lie to you. you need to go to more and then go across here to feed reader. So I'm going to drag this now underneath and drop it there. And it's just showing you the default Weebly blog here. Um, we need to obviously change what it, um, where that RSS feed is being pulled from. So I'm just going to click on it. And as you see, it's opened a new little thing at the top here where you can actually enter the address. Now, I can't remember the address of the feed off the top of my head, so I'm just going to go there we go. I'm just going to scroll down and grab the feed quickly. And go back here. So, all you need to do is paste in this, like so. And now, first of all, as you see, it will update in real time. And it's actually showing two posts there, um, but doesn't look particularly attractive. So what we need to do first is we need to click here where it says with medium. We're going to put that to be 100%. So it goes across the whole blog. And now you can choose how much of the actual content from the feed to display on the page. So a couple of options here. At the moment, it's set to short, which shows, let's like say, practically just one line um, for each entry. And that one's set to medium. As you can see, the, the difference in the amount of content being shown there. And just to show you, there's the long bit. And finally, the full. Now, obviously, we don't want to put it to full because that'll be just, you know, effectively duplicate content here. We want to just show enough so that Google will recognize it as a piece of content um, and with the links and then, you know, effectively you, you get extra additional backlinks so you really I think short or medium I'm probably gonna go for medium here yeah which is just enough text um, I say for Google to recognize that as a, a piece of text and I think that's probably okay and finally um, the next thing you need to do is click on the good old publish button now here, it's asking you, um, do you want a subdomain of Weebly or do you want to register your own domain? Now you don't want to register your own domain. What you need to do is obviously enter your main keyword phrase here. So it's, let me just, Dirge Electric, make sure I spelt that right. Now, as you can see, somebody else has already got that one. Um, I'm not sure whether Rob's already grabbed it or, well, somebody following along here has beat us to it. So I'm just going to go. And change that to vintage electric guitars. Ideally, try to get your phrase or, let's, in fact, let's just see. There we go. I've changed it to vintage-electric-guitar.weebly.com and it says it's available. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the publish button. 
And it says, <laughs> it's telling me that vintageelectricguitar.net is also available as a domain name, but we don't want that. We literally want this. So it's showing you the link, uh, vintage-electric-guitar.weebly.com. I'm going to click on that now. And there you go. Site is live. Now, as I say, like I mentioned before, you can actually create additional um, pages inside this blog, and it's pretty simple to do. I'm just going to close this. And you can click on Pages. And if you wanted a new page, say for instance we wanted a page on Vintage Acoustic Guitar, so I'm just going to click on that. And I'm going to call this Vintage Acoustic Guitar. And we don't want to password protect it, and we want to show it at the top, so I'm just going to click Save. And as you see, it's actually put a new page here for me. So this is the home page, the Vintage Electric Guitar page. And this is the um, additional page. So I'm just going to click that. And as you can see, you just edit it like you would do any other page. So if we go back to basic, and we can stick in paragraph with a title. Vintage Acoustic Guitar. So that's just a rubbish little paragraph. Again, if you actually are creating pages content, make sure that you actually do put some good content in. I'm just doing this to actually show you. And I'll whack the publish button again. And click on the link. And there we go. So we've got the main vintage electric guitar page now. And if we go to the top, you click on vintage acoustic guitar. And there you go, there's the additional page. Now if you look in the URL at the top here, as you can see, I'll just highlight it, it's vintage-electric-guitar.weebly.com forward slash vintage-acoustic-guitar.html. So you've got your two keyword phrases right in your URL there, which is, you know, that's pretty good. So um, that's about it for this time, guys. And yep, there you go, everything's working. So um, until the next video, I think it's probably Caro doing the video tomorrow, um, and you'll probably see me sometime next week. All right, gang, I um, hope you're having an absolutely fantastic challenge, and I'm looking forward to seeing more reports of their first dollars coming in, and speak to you soon. There is no charge for awesomeness.